Hello. We are doing a thing on me printing fake Lego. So that'll be good if we can just move on from this. And here we go. You'll see that the printer has just homed to get the um just does that before it prints and I'm wiping it with um a lollipop stick to get the excess plastic off. No, it's not a used lollipop stick, it's from a weird grow your own chili thing that I got for Christmas. Anyway, we'll just um we're just waiting for it to start. Yeah, I've preheated it to 175 degrees because that's a PLA and it will start printing. Currently it is just starting to print the brim of the entire thing. So that is just a, a one layer sort of thing of plastic that goes around the entire print. Um, I've never known its true reason but it helps for getting the plastic to the head before it starts printing because it doesn't immediately print the plastic so with smaller prints it can be quite annoying because you'll have to keep restarting because the skirt or brim or whatever it's called um, is much smaller so the plastic isn't used enough and you'll you'll see this if you're getting one is quite annoying because you'll have to keep restarting and restarting but sooner or later you you'll figure out how to do it first try because you need to preheat it uh you can probably see under the bright light that i'm shining on it that it has started to print the base layer of the lego which is just the square and the three circles that are inside of the square so it will move on soon to the next image in about three two one well not really an image a video uh, now so this is a little bit further on and as you can see it's about halfway through you can see that it's printed the walls of it and the little circles you may also notice that it's moving a lot faster because in the first layer it actually prints a lot slower now this is good for sticking it to the bed although if it's a big print it can take quite some force to get it off of the bed but it's supposed to stick it to the bed i also don't like it a bit because it causes a big like fatter layer this is a little bit further in and you can see that it is filling in the plastic tops and it does this uh, quite mm, not that smoothly on the first layer although it looks quite shiny on the picture but um yeah it fills it in quite nicely and it does about four layers but you can set it to how many layers you want on slicer i think i've got mine set to four layers at least so it's just going to go ahead and print that and then start printing the circles here you go now this is a different clip i don't know if you didn't notice the uh, slide there but now it's printing these circles so it'll just go ahead and print those circles <coughs> so when it does the circles it sort of does the outside brim and the inner brim and then fills it in with just a, a little bit of plastic and it sort of squiggles it in quite rapidly actually but that sort of works and I've printed sort of poles of the same thickness but much higher and the printer does it quite nicely actually the ridges are really obvious on this printer because it can deform slightly and not become quite straight it can form little ridges but the, it'll never affect the quality of the product and you can always like sand it or something because they're only like ridges they're just visual but um yeah now it's a lot further through and it's just finishing in this clip i think so as you can see the pegs that lock in are a lot taller and it is sort of like still printing them it's just got a little bit to go this print was exactly half an hour like precisely half an hour i don't know how it was so perfectly half an hour but it it was which is pretty good um something else about the printer 
the the with these particular things that I found is the if you don't print it off nicely enough, the bottom layer can be weak. So when you pull it off from another, it'll snap, and you'll see me extracting them just now, and quite easy to sort of snap off because they've only got thin layers on it, but it it sort of like looks really nice you can see underneath the pegs a little bit of the zigzagging but um that doesn't affect the quality at all again you'll see a little bit of a close-up after because i'm going to be doing a hands-on of the lego